Hello and welcome to Well and Good's Trainer of the Month series. My name is Alicia Ferguson and this is my lovely co-founder, Paris Alexandra, and we are BK Yoga Club. So we're a body positive yoga studio located in Brooklyn, New York, and we are so excited to flow with you guys today. And while I have your attention, like and subscribe to Well and Good's channel so you can see more of us and other beautiful wellness practitioners. Let's get started. I have a juicy, delectable hip opener flow for us today. So I want us to come with our legs nice and extended, really long, palms facing up. Lift the heart, lift the chest, toes up towards the sky, and let's just roll down nice and easy. You can even bend the knees a little if you need to. We don't want to make this one too harsh. And then I want you to begin to bend your knees, coming into like a bound angle or rec reclined butterfly pose. And if you have blocks, right, because we're going to start to work into our hips early in the game, if you have blocks, you may want to put up just like Paris is doing here. So you put the blocks, rest them underneath with your hips um, to, to gently give them a little bit of support. Um, if you have blankets or pillows, couch pillows, you can use anything just to give you a little support. And then I want you, or I invite you actually, to put one hand on your heart, put one hand on the lower belly. And let's just take a moment here to arrive. Start to connect to the breath here, deepening it. Inhaling through the nose. And exhaling long and slow out the mouth. Allow the heart to rise with every inhale. And feel the belly kind of gently push back into the spine as you exhale all the air out. And as you're connecting to the breath, I just invite you to slowly let all your senses arrive here. So let your mind begin to arrive on the mat. Let your body begin to arrive on the mat. Even let your spirit all begin to arrive on the mat, meeting you in this very present moment. Continuing with the breath, inhaling nice and full. And then exhaling. I just want to invite you to set an intention for your practice today. And that could be for yourself. Maybe it's a loved one. Sometimes it's honestly just sending out love and light to the world. You know it needs it. But whatever that is for you, let's take a collective inhale. And then as we exhale out the mouth, we're sealing that intention in and just considering it already done. Beautiful. So we can bring our arms down to our sides. If you have blocks or padding underneath of your thighs, just remove it off to the sides. You know, and then extend that left leg nice and long. And then I want you to interlace your fingers and gently tug in that right knee in towards your chest. So scroll the shoulders back here, square the elbows, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, squeeze that right knee in towards your chest, moving towards the armpit just a little bit more. And then I'm just going to invite you to take arm circles here, or hip circles actually. So begin to work into the knee, gently circling it. Almost imagine your knee is like a spoon, okay? And you're stirring a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, whatever your beverage of choice is. And then begin to reverse the circle going in the opposite direction, right? And your circles could be big or small, whatever feels good for you, but just really breathe in some energy, imagining the air all moving into that right hip crease, creating space, opening up, feeling the tension ungripping. And then take your left hand, place it over the right knee, and I want you to gently tip that right knee all the way over to the left side. So we're coming into a little supine twist here. Take your eyes over to the right side of the mat. And if you want a deeper twist, just press your hand onto the knee a little more so you're anchoring it into the earth. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, allow your shoulder blades to press into the mat, allow your eyes to go to the right side of the room, and maybe gently press the knee down a little more. And then bring that right knee back to center. 
and then extend the right leg nice and long all the way up to the sky. So we should interlace your fingers here, bring it underneath the thick, the thick meaty part of the thigh. Yes, the thickest part. <laughs> and then begin to flex your toes towards your chin. Beautiful. And then from here, I want you to add a little bit of resistance, right? So square the shoulders off, and I want you to press your foot. So you're pressing the foot towards the sky, trying to lengthen that right leg. So maybe the knee's bent, right? Because your hips and hamstrings are tight, but just work on straightening and lengthening that right leg. And you're using your hands to create a little bit of tension here. Yeah, so maybe you straighten the leg all the way. Beautiful, maybe you don't, who cares? Just working on getting into those hamstrings here. One more deep breath, inhale, and then exhale. Beautiful. Then bend that knee again and take a yogi toe lock. So you're gonna take your ring, index finger, loop it around your big toe on the right side. Yep, and so your knee could be out to the side, whatever feels good. And again, work on straightening the leg in the amount, right? And so, you don't have to work it out all the way, right? In your mouth. So the knee might still be bent, but work on lengthening it. And go straight up at first, right? Go straight up. Beautiful, Paris. Look at that. Right? You're feeling it. Oh, ah, yes. <laughs> all right, now put your left hand on your left hip crease, right? Left back. And then gently begin to extend that right foot over any amount. And again, the knee could be bent. It doesn't matter, right? We're, our bodies are all unique, and we want to work with our body today, just listening to what feels good. Beautiful. And then bring it back to center whenever you're ready. You tuck up. Lower slowly down with control of that right leg all the way down to the back. Right? We didn't even move yet. We are already feeling it. Shake out the legs. We're going to do that on the left side. All right. So I want you to interlace that right or that left knee, sorry, into your chest. Square the shoulders off. Give it a nice tug into your shoulders, into the armpit. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And then as you exhale, squeeze the left knee into the arm a little more. Beautiful. And then take the right hand and tip that left knee over to the right side. And then open up that left arm. And then take your eyes over to the left side. Yeah. Take a deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. And then bring the left knee back to center. Extend the left leg all the way up to the sky if you can. Knee can still be bent. So whatever feels good for you. But interlace your fingers and place it under the meaty part of the thigh, right? And then begin to work to straighten the leg any amount here. Beautiful. And so just work it out, work it out, really pressing, almost like you're stamping the ceiling here. Beautiful. One more breath, inhale. And then as you exhale, bend that left knee, take a yogi toe lock on that left big toe. And we're going to try that again. So take your right hand, place it on the right hip crease. So this is really to stabilize your pelvis, right? So sometimes when you begin to extend the leg all the way up to the sky, right, your hips want to creep up with it. We want to press down, stabilizing the hips. Are you stabilized, folks? Very. You're very stabilized. <laughs> right. And then we can just slowly tip that left, the left foot over, extending it any amount. Oh, yeah. And so you notice how easily Paris did it on the left side, but the right leg was like a little bit of a challenge for her. It's like every side of the body is different, right? And so it's acknowledging that and working with that. So not working against yourself. Right? Then that knee, and then lower all the way down slowly with control. Bring both knees into the chest. I know it's to rock up nice and slow. Yeah. We stayed on the mat for a little bit, so we're going to build a little heat here. And so I want you to roll all the way over. Beautiful. I'm just going to wipe this up back up. And we're going to come onto all fours here. And so once you're on all fours, inhale, sweep that right arm all the way up to the sky. And then as you exhale, thread it underneath to the left. Maybe you drop your right shoulder to the earth. And we're going to float through this three times. Inhale, sweeping the right arm up. And then exhale, thread it underneath. Maybe the right arm drops down. Last time here. Inhale, nice and big. Shoot energy out the fingertips. And then exhale, last time with the knee. And then come all the way back to center. Beautiful. Take a child's pose. So reach the fingers all the way out. Sink those hips back. One deep breath here. Inhale. Nice active arms. So forearms are off the mat. And then come all the way back into your flat back position. So we're going to try this on the left. Inhale, sweep the left arm all the way up. Reaching through the fingertips. And then exhale, thread it underneath the right. Beautiful. Two more times. Switch your own breath. Your own pace, just really stretching, finding length and energy, allowing the belly to even fall between the hips, right? Creating space last time. And we'll meet at all fours. Beautiful. Curl your toes under, and we're going to come right into our downward dog. So hips go up and back, right? And we're weighted in the heels, pedaling at the feet here. 
allowing the heart to peel towards our thighs. Spread the fingertips nice and big here. Pedal out your feet. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. One more big breath. Inhale. And exhale. I want you to inhale that right leg nice and long behind you. So pressing towards the back of the room. And then bend into that right knee. Yes. Then start to take circles with the knee. So imagine your knee is carving a circle into the air, right? So it's really carving a really precise circle. So you can go as slow or as fast as you want to. And then just reverse your circle. <laughs> Sometimes I like to imagine my knee carving a circle into like a bank hole and like all the money is gonna fall out into for me. Maybe that's not what you're thinking, but that's me. <laughs> so then extend that right leg nice and long again behind you and then bring it between your two front hands. Draw the inner thighs together. And we're gonna come right into our high lunge. Arms reach all the way up. Hips are low, bending to that front knee. Beautiful. So Paris is doing the modification of a low lunge right now. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. And I want you to place your arms to frame the front foot and then drop that left knee if you're up high. Extend the right foot. So we're gonna come onto the ball of our foot to like Ardha Hanuma, which is half yogi split. Roll the shoulders back, nice long spine here. And as you exhale, fall forward. So we're bowing, really digging the heel into the mat, pulling back to lengthen, find some space in the hamstrings. Two more times, inhale. And then exhale, fall forward. And really work on pulling that right hip crease like in towards your midline. Yeah, last time, inhale, look up. And then exhale, fall forward. Beautiful. And then bend into that right knee, pick up the left, yes. And then see if you can sweep the right arm up towards the sky for a gentle twist. Deep breath here, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And then as you exhale the hand down, bring both of your hands into the inside of your right foot. So we're coming into a lizard. So there's a lot of options for your lizard, right? You can keep your left leg up if that feels good for you, right? You can also drop the knee. You can stay high on your hands, or if you are feeling froggy and you want a really deep hip opener, you can come into your forearms, right? But gently rock back and forth on that back left leg, right? Just to start to open up some space here. Yep, start to feel it out. Maybe even almost again, imagine yourself stirring the hips. I like to do little circles on the ball of the back foot, opening it up. Beautiful. And then if your knee is up, I want you to drop that left knee, take your right hand, and begin to open up that right knee. So you're gonna let this foot roll over to the edge of your right foot, opening up your right knee, and allow the body to twist towards the right side of the room. Yes. Inhale. And exhale. And again, like imagine the air going, the breath moving into that right hip crease, creating space here. So they say it's our creative channel, our hips, right? All our emotions are stored there. Beautiful. And we want to just be able to allow them to release, allow that creative energy to just let loose. Beautiful. And so we're going to bring our foot back to the earth. And so we have a little variation. So you can stay here or you can extend your right arm all the way out and swing it back, right? And see if you can reach for the outside of your left leg. So maybe you can reach it, maybe you can't. And you see Paris is still creating the action here. So she's rolling the right shoulder back, right? Allowing her body to open to the right side of the room and working, shooting energy towards that left foot. Beautiful, two more breaths here, inhale. And exhale, allow the hips to really open. So open up that right knee to the right side, right? Really work into the area. Beautiful, bring both hands down, bring your front foot. Awesome, and then rock that back left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale and lengthen here, pull those shoulders back. And then rise all the way to stand. Sweep the arms out and up, reaching towards the sky. Hands come to prayer, thumbs come to our heart center. Open up into Tadasana, our mountain pose. Beautiful. Inhale, arms go out and up, reaching towards the sky. Exhale, we're gonna swan dive forward. Arms go out to our sides, gently bending the knees. Place the palms down. This time, step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. And we're gonna shift straight into our downward dog. Pedal off the feet once you get here. I want you to inhale that left leg really long behind you. So shooting energy out the heel of that left foot. Beautiful. Then bend into that left knee. And again, we're gonna take circles here, right? So you're circling the knee. Right? And I'm just going to um, show you, yes, yeah, so Paris is doing like a variation in this, right? So 
If you have sensitive wrists, right, always feel free to come onto your forearms or you can even come into it um, from your arms nice and left in. Reverse your circle, go in the opposite direction. And then extend the leg nice and long, three-legged dog. Bring that left foot between your two front hands, rising and lifting into your high lunge. Inner thighs squeeze together, sitting low into that left leg, shooting energy at the fingertips. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. And as you exhale, frame the arms to frame that front foot. Beautiful. Drop the right knee and lengthen through that left leg. So you're coming to the ball of that left foot. So Ardha Hanuma again, right? And we're gonna do a nice little baby float through here. So roll the shoulders back, pull the spine and crown of the head forward, and then begin to bow towards the earth. Humble surrender. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Let the heart shine here. And then exhale as we fall forward. And really just as we float through this a few more times, begin to like listen to the body, right? So what parts of your hips still feel a little tight? Is it the inner thigh? Is it the outer thigh, right? Bending into that left knee, I want you to pick up your right knee and sweep the left arm up. So gentle twist to the left side. And we want to breathe a little more love, a little more energy, right? Into the parts of the body that still feel a little sticky, right? So just begin to tap in. What parts of my hips still feel like they need a little more love? Beautiful. Last breath here. Exhale the arms, both in the inside of that left foot. So we're coming back to our lizard pose. So again, for lizard, you have options. So if you want to keep that right knee up, I just want you to rock back and forth on the ball of that right foot. So really allowing the hips to just open up and be stir it. Again, think of your hips like a little spoon. Yeah. Or you can come into your forearms. Paris is using blocks as well. If you want a deeper stretch, come all the way down to your forearms. And again, just gentle, subtle movement. And it's like approaching our lizard today from a place of curiosity. So as I'm stirring my hips, right, I'm like kind of like finding out in parts that I'm like, whoa, what's a little sensitive when I lean to the right, right? So how can I breathe more there? Maybe it feels a little more tender when I move a little bit further up. But just noticing these things. Two more breaths here. Beautiful. And then wherever you're at, if your hands are low on the forearms, bring your hands to the mat. Drop the right knee, and then I want you to take your left hand, opening up your left tips here. Yes. So allow the foot, usually, right, usually in yoga, we're like, ground down to the foot. I want you to allow that left foot to, like, roll open. So you're on the edge of that left foot. Press your left hand into the knee. Allow the knee to open. We're really sinking deep into our hips here, right? And allow the body to twist to the right, to the left. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. And again, this is our creative center, right? Almost like the creative mecca in our body is the hips. So what happens when we breathe a little more intentionally there, right? What ideas can get sparked? What new revelations can come by simply letting go? Take another deep breath. I don't hear you breathing, Paris. Oh, I love the sound of that ujjayi breath. <laughs> One more breath, inhale. And exhale, twist, allow it, allow it to happen, beautiful. And if you're taking it a little step further with me, extend that left arm forward, roll it back. Beautiful, so you're reaching toward the back of your uh, right foot. And if you wanna pick it up, begin to pick it up. Yeah, and you wanna reach for the outside edge of the right foot as you bring it in, allowing the left shoulder to still roll back, allowing the foot to still be on the edge, and just breathe. So take a few moments here. I'll stop talking. I talk a lot, y'all. Are you agreeing? No comment. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, so if your hand is reaching for that right foot, release the foot, let it go. Bring both of your hands to frame your left foot, and then I want you to rock your back foot to the top of the mat. Beautiful, hang low here. Take your feet nice and wide. Yep, so you're going to heel to the feet about as wide as the, that the edge of your mat. Beautiful. And then start to come low. So we're coming into like a yogi squat. If you have a block, you can always bring a block underneath your hips. Yep, or you can just sink low, whatever feels good for you. And we're going to come to this, what they call it as a goddess flow, right? It's really great for the hips. So inhale, rise to stand, straighten the legs, arms go all the way out and up, reaching towards the sky. Beautiful, yes. Interlace the fingers here. And then as we exhale, 
We're gonna come all the way back down, bending into our knees. And we're gonna flip through this three more times. Inhale, lifting everything up, all the energy, all the love, all the creativity. Woo! And then exhale, coming all the way back down, sinking the hips nice and low. Two more times, tapping into that creative center. And then exhale, ah, showing up fully. Last one here. I feel like you're feeling this one, Paris. I feel it. I feel the vibes. Hey. <laughs> Beautiful. And then once you're low, bring both your toes forward and just lift the hips up, coming into a forward fold here. Beautiful. Inhale, pull the shoulders back, lengthen the spine. Beautiful. And then rise all the way to stand. Hands come to prayer. Thumbs at your heart center. Just take a moment here. Close your eyes down. Just tap into whatever your intention was for today's practice, right? Whatever you are seeking, whatever brought you to the mat today, just bringing that to your heart center. Gently open your eyes if they're closed, opening up into your Tadasana, your mountain pose. Beautiful. And now the arms out and up, reaching up to the sky. Begin to gently fall forward here. Beautiful. Step that left foot back, step that right foot back, top of the plank. Lower your knees down. Beautiful. And let's just come into our child's pose. I'm just taking a moment here, again, acknowledging everything that you've created today, acknowledging the space that you've created in your body, acknowledging the space that you've created for fresh energy, fresh ideas, fresh love, fresh grace. And then just begin to walk your hands towards your knees. Why don't you swing your legs all the way around. Straighten the legs here. Beautiful. And just give the toes a little wiggle. Let's to show the toes a little love, right, for all the work they did today. Beautiful. And then bring the soles of the feet together. Entwist your hands around the toes. Roll the shoulders back. Heart is lifted here. Inhale. And as you exhale, you want to pull the fingertips and pull the toes in towards your hips as you allow your heart to fold forward. Yep, so I'm almost imagining my feet going in as my heart pulls forward. And then don't really try to hold the neck up. Allow it to hang heavy. Find softness in the jaw, softness in your eyes. Yeah. With every exhale, maybe you begin to fall forward just a little bit more. And then slowly begin to lift everything up. Take your hands, bring them to the outside of your knees, close them up like a little book here. And then we're gonna come into our final resting pose. So extend the legs nice and long here, roll the shoulders back, heart is forward. And then just roll down nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy, nice and easy. Bring the knees into the chest, give yourself one last little hug here. One last show of gratitude, right? Showing the body lots of love for all the energy that it put out today. Maybe you rock back and forth here. You can even come into a happy baby if that feels good to you, right? Bringing the hands to the outside edges of your feet. Happy babies always feel so good, right? Oh, it's, like, yeah. it's like the childlike playfulness in it all. Yeah. And then whenever you're done, right? Maybe you've made your final movements. Allow the legs to just roll over to the sides. Letting the body feel heavy, letting the heart rest. No longer forcing any inhales or exhales. Just allow the breath to really flow through you freely here. And just maybe give the toes a little saying thank you toes for holding me up and holding me down. Sending love and gratitude to our knees for bending on every high lunge. Thanking our thighs, thinking our hips, right? Thanking our hips for allowing us to open them. Thanking our lungs for giving us the breath of life. 
thinking our heart, for staying so open, and thanking our eyes for staying so clear. And just hang out here for a few more moments if you have the time today. I'm going to say thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for making this a part of your own self-care journey. Don't bring our hands to prayer if you're closing out with me. Let's place our thumbs at the space between our eyebrows today, our third eye center. Let's take a deep breath as we inhale collectively together. And exhale out the mouth with a sigh. <sighs> Let it go. May you always speak truth, love, and life. Namaste. And again, I just invite you to stay here for a few extra moments. Let it linger. Allow the body to really um, just absorb all the benefits of your practice today, right? Um, we did a lot of opening of the hips. So I just encourage you to grab a glass of water, replenish your body, right? Bring some nutrients back to the hip area. And while you're here, make sure you like and subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel. Also make sure you are following at BK Yoga Club if you wanna see more of us. We are all over Instagram. Um, and I can't wait to flow with you in the next one. Namaste.